Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to rename scorecards in Looker Studio. Before we go straight to the point, please subscribe and like the video. It really helps tremendously to create new content. And off we go. So here we are in Looker Studio. As usual, we're going to go and insert some scorecards and maybe data elements. So here we have the scorecard and let's add a couple more just to give more examples. So how can you rename these scorecards? So let's say, for example, that you want to change the name, right? So if you want to change the name from views to whatever else you like, then you're going to go on the right hand side and where it says metric, you're going to click on this little pen. So next to metric, you're going to click on this little pen. And here you're going to give a different name. So I'm just going to name it Hello Viewers, for example. Right? So, and that's it. So you can see now that we have the scorecard that is renamed to whatever we like. Now, why this is useful? Because, for example, Sometimes, other than scorecards, we have, let's say, uh, other elements like drop-down lists. And maybe, for example, you need to have this filter here. And this filter, you want to actually customize it by country, right? So you want to actually click here and you want to select a country to focus on, for example, India or Philippines or Singapore. But you don't want this to say country, you want to say select country. So it's more user friendly for your stakeholders, right? So you're going to come here, you're going to click on the pen next to the control field, and you're going to type here the new name, for example, select country. So always remember that whenever you have any scorecard or any data control or any filter or anything at all that you want to change the name of, you need to go on the right hand side under the setup column, click on the little pen. And from here where it says name, you can actually come and you can type anything you want, right? So you can just type hello everyone or whatever, let's say. And therefore you're going to create a report that is a lot more user friendly for your stakeholders. And that's it. That was a super quick tutorial, but very handy to know to create better reports that are going to be understood by all of your stakeholders. Have a great day in any time zone. As usual, don't forget to subscribe and see you in more Looker Studio video tutorials. Bye, everyone.